For the next part of our exercise, we're going to use any local hard drive, which can be a USB external drive or your internal system drive, that has a recycle bin present on it. I'll try to choose one of the uh, physical drives that I have attached to my machine. So I click to add a new evidence item, and this time, because I'm running with administrator privileges on the system, I should be able to see a list of physical drive attached. So I click next, and this is the list of physical drive. So let me try one of these drives on my system. I click finish, and it gets added to uh, the evidence tree inside FTK Imager. And although today we're not covering the exact structure of the recycle bin, I'll show you how to find it. We will be able to discuss the actual structure of recycle bin in the future. For now, if I expand my drive, you can see that it shows me that it contains a partition with a specific file system present on it. This is NTFS new technology file system and it takes a little bit of time for FTK Imager to load the file system structure into its memory. And you can see that under the root folder on this drive, this is a typical uh, display of um, items um, in uh, present on NTFS system. One of them is a recycle bin and uh, recycle Recycled bin is organized as uh, user identifiers of the users, um, and uh, the subfolders here contain the actual items. As I click along here, you can see that some files are still present in the in the recycle bin area, and some of them with an X icon are actually being deleted. So here are challenges to. Um, see if we could recover any files that have been uh, previously deleted from the recycle bin. In other words, deleted from the recycle bin permanently. Okay, so let me just try uh, an area here. And you can see that uh, the recycle, recycle bin is organized as a series of these sub encoded subfolders that correspond to specific users. So right here, I have a list of uh, some folders that were actually uh, deleted from the system and you see that these folders physically themselves were were already deleted from the recycled bin and uh, we can try to see uh, any of these uh, for instance here the file is being already del deleted but FTK Imager allows us to see the actual content of it which is still available so right here, there's another file present here, and, and although the files were uh, co uh, deleted constantly, uh, this information is still available for recovery. Now, um, if we want to talk about the difference between Recycle Bin and Windows File Explorer, of course, a Windows File Explorer will not let you recover items that were permanently deleted. So I'll let you fill in this answer using your own words. Can FTK Imager recover files that were permanently deleted? The, the answer, of course, is yes. Because what you, you can do here, you can right-click and say export files. So basically, you can still recover the file if it was physically um, um, untouched by other system processes, by, by other programs, or by other actions by the user if the actual content is still remains in its original uh, form as it was written into the recycle bin when the file was deleted by the user you can see that you can still export these files and if i click export it gives me an, an, an ability to specify the folder um, and uh, will let me uh, make my choice uh, i don't know documents and then export a physical copy of this file so you can see the message says that one of the files was exported successfully uh, ftk imager allows you to export um, folders as well as files so you could be exporting the entire folder of information in one step i just click ok to 
close this dialog box. When is the recovery of permanently deleted files no longer feasible? I could indicate two possibilities for you. In one instance, uh, a, the drive itself could be physically damaged. Then, of course, you'd have trouble recovering some data from it. In another uh, occasion, the user could have already uh, overwritten uh, previously used uh, uh, blocks of information on the drive with uh, new pictures, music, photo, video, uh, whatever uh, information they like to store uh, on that drive. And, of course, then uh, the original data is no longer recoverable.